Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We are here at the place where I fly my small helicopters and I've got a new helicopter to show you. It is of course the OMP M2 EVO, the latest helicopter from Ohio Model Products. It's just a tad bigger than the regular M2 and M2 V2. It's got a bigger tail blade as well as bigger main blades and I've been told I'll probably like it. So, Of course I did also get an M1 EVO. Uh, still need to get a receiver set up for that. I just pulled the receiver from my M1, put it on here so I could fly it. So I need to get another receiver set up for the M1 EVO before I can fly it, but it shouldn't be that difficult. I just wanted to get out and fly. Uh, probably one of the last warm days of the winter or <laughs> spring, fall, whatever you want to call it. Of course, you know, I always say that and then a week or two later, it's 80 degrees again. So we'll see, but it's not super warm, but it's nice and sunny and uh, Hoping to get a couple good flights on this guy. So let's do it. Yeah, that should do. All right. Very first time I've flown it. I set it up according to uh, Jonas recommendations on the gyro settings as well as the dead band fix and uh, other than that, yeah, I haven't touched it so we'll see how this goes. Alright, so this is uh, Minus three, supposedly, on your throttle, which is about 45% maybe. Definitely feels different. But again, I haven't flown the V2 in a while. Uh, mostly just been flying the M1. So, I'm not quite used to really this size. But I'll tell you right now, I can tell you this. The tail's definitely a lot quieter on the V2. And I can hear Tali in action kind of cool but, uh, not the best flying spot for this uh, the white looks good but it's not super visible I did pick up some yellow tail rotors to throw on here uh, later. The white canopy is not the most visible I've ever seen, but definitely flies good. Go a little higher. Probably not fair though, because I can't see even my Protos 380 flying here, so I don't think the helicopter is entirely to blame. But it's probably less visible than like a bright orange or, you know, like my M1 is. It's not bad though. That governor's really good. Yeah, that 
tail's definitely way quieter than before on the V2. Let's go ahead and change the battery because I forgot to uh, set my or turn my volume up on the timer. I think that was about three and a half minutes. Alright, let's change the battery and do it again. Yeah. I have a trim still in from when I had this receiver on my M1, so I'm trying to get that out. Flight mode 2. So here is uh, 12 on the throttle curve, which is maybe it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 55 to 57% on a normal radio, but this is 12 on OpenTX, recommended by Jonas. Yeah, that tail's so much quieter. Seems like about three and a half minutes is going to be your limit for that sort of flying. It certainly isn't bad. I'll tell you what, the motor is just not even warm. Same for the tail motor. It's a big improvement from the, the old M2 V2. Um, it definitely ran a little bit warmer than this one does, but. That's pretty cool. Do a little bit of mixed RPM, so I'll start out low. It's nice and timid. Plenty for 3D, but not, you know, absurdly fast or anything. But like I said, still plenty capable. Uh, 
Flight mode two. Flight mode three. This is the highest head speed. Okay, no, nah, that's too much. <laughs> For this area, anyways. So this is the mid head speed. I think I need to go a little faster on uh, the speed setting on the gyro for cyclic. There's a little on the slow side for me. doing its thing I mean certain maneuvers I don't really know how to explain it back to low RPM Increase my speed setting. Throttle hold. Alright, so what do I think? Oh, I think I need to go to an actual not an actual flying field, but more of a flying field than this because these trees in the background just, I have the same problem with anything I fly here, the Potos 380, anything like that. It's, the trees just make it really hard to see. Um, as far as how it flies, I do need to do a little bit more tuning on the gyro, which sounds dramatic, but all I mean is I need to increase the speed a little bit. Um, I have it set at six, and I think I might need to go up to seven or eight uh, on the cyclic speed. Compared to the M2 V2, um, it's not a huge difference in size, but it does feel bigger, from what I remember anyway, of the V2, um, because it is uh, about, I think 20 millimeter longer blades. It's it's more T-Rex 250 Oxy 2 size, uh, which is cool, and it's got a bigger tail rotor, which is definitely quieter, like considerably, and seems to run a lot cooler. After that rude interruption, uh, like I was saying, the tail motor runs a lot cooler than the M2 V2 did, and uh, also the M1 tail gets warmer. Um, I mean, like I said, both of these motors basically cold when I when I bring it down. Obviously, I'm not flying as hard as I could have, just because I'm not, you know, it's brand new. <laughs> I don't want to crash it yet, especially with the less than stellar background, it makes it hard to see. But I definitely like it. And I think I'm gonna like the M1 Evo too. 
which I'm told flies pretty much the same as the M1 because it's the same size, same gyro. Uh, the only difference being the frame, which is supposedly makes it more rigid than the plastic one. But as far as this helicopter, uh, definitely gonna be putting some more flights on it and you know, keeping us updated on my opinion and, and uh, get you some videos. Well, and that's gonna be it for this one. I think it gives a pretty good uh, first couple flights and first impressions type video like I did for the M2V2 and the M1 a couple years ago. I will of course be doing the same thing for the M1 EVO once I can get a receiver installed on it. With all that said, that's going to be it for this one. So remember, peace, love, and helicopters. I'll see you in the next one.